Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope the video is helpful and useful in your designing process. Uh, today, uh, I actually had somebody wanting to know about the Eternity Band here. Uh, so I was just going to real quick uh, make one. This will be uh, pretty easy, actually. Uh, so let's just jump in. Uh, so I'll go and I'll just keep a size 7, of course. And then uh, I'm, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this. So I'm going to go to Curves, and I'm going to offset it uh, to uh, 2 millimeter. I'm going to offset it to 2 millimeter, so my uh, width will be just slightly over 2 with the prongs out there, right? Uh, so I'll go out there, and then I'll take that ring... Uh, offset curve and I will go to a uh, gems and gems on ring rail of course and my center one's there so I'll drag these on around and they're facing my uh, f4 so uh, they should be fine and I'll get it as close as I can in there uh, and now I'm going to let's just say they I want 2.5 millimeter five pointers right so something like that five pointers uh, and I'm not going to adjust any spacing or anything I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this and what was my count I the new uh, matrix uh, 3.4 update gives you the count and it's one, one about a one and a half pretty close to one and a half carat total weight uh so 25 stones remember 25 in case i forget <laughs> okay so we'll take that uh and we'll just take this uh top stone here by itself so i'm going to hold down shift control select that top stone uh and thank you for i can't remember who keeps on telling me to do that <laughs> and i appreciate it trust me uh and i'm just going to add uh gem offset on there right and i'm going to bump it out just a little bit uh, maybe two i guess and those those here are real long i don't want those that long and i am going to bring it up actually so let's bring it up to where those uh, tops are kind of right at the their mids maybe a little bit higher it can't hurt to have too much prong uh and we'll take the, uh this here i want to make smaller shorter uh so i'll go to my vertical length and i'll uh, drag it in some i want it shorter something like that perhaps and i'll accept that all right and now what i'm going to do is go to my curves and go to my uh blend curves here and i am going to make sure i only s select the same ones uh, I'm going to grab this one here and that one there. Oh, second curve, this one here. Okay. All right, I did something wrong there. Sorry about that. Uh, right click. Uh, I'm selecting that. Let's get them so I can pick them. This one here and that one there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take this down to maybe quite a bit. Uh, Let's see, to maybe a 3.7. <clears throat> and this one, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, same amount, 3.7. So I want to leave a little space, <clears throat> excuse me. I want to leave a little space here for my uh, rail. Actually, I'm going to bump it up one more, 3.6, uh, 3.6. Uh, maybe that'll be okay. Uh, and that'll be my prong rail, right? So I'll accept that. And now I'll just go and I'll put uh, go to my tools, and we will grab a uh, profile. And uh, I'm going to spin this one around so that that green arrow is kind of aligned with that uh, line there. So I'll just spin it around and kind of get as close as I can. Something like that. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to make them a 0 0.8. That's uh, a, a good thickness for the prongs. That they won't wear down very quickly. Uh, 0.8. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Damn. Uh, and then I'll mirror that over to the other side there. Uh, Okay, this one's not lined up real good. So actually, I'll uh, take that mirror and uh, get rid of it. And I'll just go ahead and place one there and then do the same thing. Make that green arrow come over something like this. And then I'm going to, uh, it's right on the outside of my girdle, right? So I'll go over here to my editor 
uh, and I'm just going to uh, put it on point one. I'm going to select this whole one. I'm going to have make sure this is green, and I am going to uh, drag that straight down so it's kind of like right in the middle there, and then hit OK. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one over here. Uh, and uh, it's already point one there. I select all that and drag it straight down so it's kind of like right in the middle and hit OK. So now I have a little overlapping there, right? Uh, and I will go ahead and activate my auto sweep. I won't have to sweep it, so that's good. And there we go. There's m the majority of the prong and hit enter. I'll select that uh, profile there and then I will go up to cap. Uh, the profile and I think it's a point three, yeah, point three, uh, enter and then I'll right click and bring this one <clears throat> and drag it up to a point three so that they're both the same and then hit enter. Uh, so we have something like this going on thus far, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on today. All right. Uh, sorry. Uh, let's shift and control select that one. We'll go to settings and we'll do an under bezel. Uh, and this one we'll need to do a little manipulation. We'll drag it up uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, something like that. Uh, and definitely we don't want that going crazy in there. And we don't need that going like that. So something like this maybe. And we can thin that down just a little. Something like that. Let's uh, hide those uh, stones and take a look from the top. I don't like that dome there. We don't have the chamfer here, do we? Too bad. Uh, and uh, make that dome a little less pronounced. And let's... <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of... Okay, that's sticking out there. We don't want that sticking out. So we'll go something like that. Bring back those stones, and we can actually bump that up just a little. <clears throat> <clears throat> I am so sorry. Uh, and uh, we'll take that. We'll just say that's good, maybe. Oh, we, we can drag this uh, edge in so we can get a little U in there. Hit that. All right. And now what we'll do is take this, and we will... Uh, Transform, mirror, uh, put it in our X direction, turn off our Y. Oop. Let's back out of that. Let's go ahead and group these together here. Uh, join. Oh, okay, so let's back out. Let's try and, try and keep it as much parametric as we can. So I, what is it? Tools, is it? Uh, where's parametric join? I don't use it very often. Oh, it's in the, yeah, it's in the tools, I think. Tools, join, join, objects to join, this, this, and this, and hit enter, enter, and we only have one, that's good. Now let's go to that transform, and go to mirror, and we want it in our X, not our Y, and we'll hit enter, so we have all that. At this point, you can join them together probably let's uh, i think it was 25 right uh so let's go ahead select this this and this and we will go to uh dun 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 <laughs> array uh, array uh polar and let's go to our uh, front here activate our front and we'll go to f4 is our center uh 25 is what we want enter enter and enter <clears throat> And we have all those on. You just want to make sure, check them, make sure they're all okay. It looks like they are. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there you go. Now, I don't know. That that seems to me to be a little uncomfortable. I guess it's totally to, up to you. Uh, you know, you could maybe leave it like that, I guess. But uh, it might be better uh, to go ahead and uh, add a... Uh, rail on there for comfortable uh, being a little bit more comfortable so we'll just go to tools we'll get another profile and we will change that profile uh, to our favorite one there and we'll take that and we'll just kind of uh, I think a 0.5 is uh, fine because our prongs are a 0.8 so it shouldn't be seen right yeah and then of course we Excuse me, we want to uh, drag it in. 
and we'll just go ahead and activate that sweep since it's going to be a solid anyway uh, and we have a little indentation there you might want to just go ahead and uh, drop that down a little bit something like that so uh, maybe a little bit more comfortable and then when you do that you can probably bump it up a little bit more so it gives a little bit more meat and it goes in kind of bit quite a bit so we don't need it going in that much we just want uh, something like that so it really shows off those uh, u shapes there right uh, and then hit enter uh, and last thing we need to do at this point is go ahead select our stones go to our cutters select our gym cutters and we'll just say that's fine and we'll accept that and now we'll just select this surf uh, i'll just go over here solids uh, boolean difference this will be after it pops up be careful i always click things too fast before this pops up and that's what creates a lot of issues for me uh so uh select that there enter this here enter and enter and we have all our holes uh if you want to you can you can go in there and clean those holes up a little bit uh, actually it's not that difficult for a jeweler to take a bulber and just kind of mm, and it's same difference but if you want to clean them up a little bit you can go here fillet edge uh, blend edges and then you can go around and select all those edges you know and uh do a little uh blend uh preview yes it, I'm just going to do a couple here uh, and hit enter. That'll blow it, of course. One millimeter was way too thick, so we'll type it in a point uh, two maybe and hit enter and see what that gives us. And that gives us that nasty thing there. Eww. Okay, let's back out of that and let's do that command again. But this time, let's pick chain edges and we'll do that and we'll do this one. Well, this one. Oh, we can only do one at a time on here. Uh, and then we'll hit enter, point two, enter. And it gives us that. So let's do a set all, point oh five, and hit enter. And there we go. It kind of rounds it off there a little bit for us. Right? And you can, you can probably go a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see. Set all, uh, point oh eight. Uh, eight maybe uh, enter yeah there we go point oh eight looks pretty good and hit enter and there you go you can go around and round all those uh, areas off if you want to uh just fyi and now we have this so we'll turn off our yellow turn off our ring rail and we'll give it a little shading here and there you go there you have a nice little uh, eternity band and you can use sapphires, diamonds, and those prongs are a little high, but uh, the jeweler is going to, you know, split that right there a little bit and then make the cut and then bend them over so and shape them up. So it's it's probably not a bad thing to have a little bit extra prong, but you don't have to have them that that much longer. Uh, but that there you go. Uh, that's kind of what it is. So hopefully that uh, kind of answers your question. Uh, and uh, very easy to make, very easy. Uh, and if you want to size it, um, I'm not sure that this one's totally parametric. Let's find out. Uh, we'll to go to size. We'll, uh, I tried to keep it as much as I could. Let's take it up to 10. Yeah, the, the revolve, you'll have to do the revolve again. And uh, since we did that, uh, cut on this ring rail here but that's not a a lot of extra stuff you have to do but uh yeah probably not parametric uh sorry for that <laughs> but uh, there you go i uh, hope this helps if it does please leave a like subscribe and leave a comment and uh good designing thank you very much